There's the whistle from our official, and we are off the mark here at the lab. It's New Mexico in possession to get things started. And immediately, you see Zico Bailey looking to find Harry Swartz down the left side. So Pittsburgh will take possession here just 20 seconds into this one. You know, and Chris, uh, as we look at this New Mexico United squad, you mentioned on that side in the second half where the sun's going to be in their eyes. This ball floated back post. But back over to Forbes. Lays this one off for Mertz and Cross goes in. Still bouncing around here. Pittsburgh enjoying their fair share of possession as the shot there from Danny Griffin saved by Tambakis. Maples, as you mentioned, came over from Houston Dynamo 2, making his first appearance in the black and yellow of New Mexico. He's the captain there of Dynamo 2 in the last couple of seasons. He had 48 appearances, scored seven times as a defender. Ball played forward, it's Harry Swartz. Swartz. He's uh, been we were talking before the game. Is he going to be the, the natural replacement for Justin Portillo? It's probably who's, who's, who's suspended this weekend uh, after picking up a red card the last game for Loudoun United. But see what New Mexico United are trying to do. You can already see kind of a pattern coming about of how they want to play. Falls to Reyes. And it's saved by Eric Dick and able to trap that one before Bailey gets to the follow-up. New Mexico United and Pittsburgh. If, you, if I was to ask you, who do you think scored more goals last year? Who do you think it was? Pittsburgh. New Mexico scored 51. It's uh, the USL website I'm relying on here. But you know, uh, the yeah, New Mexico United scored 51. They scored 50. But at the back, that's where the difference was. For sure, they only conceded 30 goals all season. So look at our Ben Sherman Law injury report. Injured at work. Ben Sherman can help. Just a couple of names there. Daniel Bruce and the new number nine, Abu Dan Ladi. Is that one tipped over? Kick here for New Mexico. Swartz heads it forward. Here's Hurst. Falls to Hurst. Quelle now. What a goal this would be during the Magic Minute for New Mexico if they're able to convert. Harry Swartz, it's saved by Dick at the back post. New Mexico continuing the attack. Gloucester finds Quelle. Pittsburgh able to hold the danger there as Forbes connects with Mertz and now... The Hounds looking to break. This one's going to be no problem there for Tambakis. Quelle looking to play it through for Hurst, and it's cut out there by Griffin, although the advantage was being played, so a free kick coming up. Reyes plays it forward. It's Greg Hurst. He gets past Dick, and Greg Hurst opens up the scoring for New Mexico here just before the half. It's the Scotsman. Welcome back to the lab. That was a really, really good goal. A little slip pass in behind. And if you see, if we go back far enough in the, in the replay, how early Greg Hurst starts his movement. He almost knew that the ball was going to find him. And there's a little bit where he does a little drag back, a little rollover of the ball, which commits the, commits the goalkeeper Dick and just grounds him. And then as he's falling down, he has the quick enough feet to poke the ball in and just roll it into an empty net. But that was a lot more difficult than what Greg Hurst made it look. Going back to Astorga, you say you missed a word. You said the, the transition, the first one to transition from the U23s. Looked like Tambakis was caught well off his line there, and he was. Traditionally, when you see some teams that uh, may not be you know, too familiar with altitude over the final 10 or so minutes, that's when you really start to see it take effect. Yeah, it does. I'm, when I first moved here, 
I was had no idea it was al at altitude, and I couldn't understand why I was tired walking up <laughs> walking up some stairs. You know, it does. It has a huge effect, and yeah, like you say, the just the oxygen deprivation, and towards the end, the the tiredness really kicks in, and it kicks in with a vengeance. Here goes Harris using that pace to create. Gets a cross in Hernandez, and the header bounces right into the arms of Eric Dick. Astorga throws this one in. It's going to be another throw in here for New Mexico. Hernandez looking to just waste some time. And New Mexico looking to open up the season with a 1-0 win for the second consecutive year. And they do full time here at the lab. The black and yellow celebrate their five year anniversary with a one nil win over the 2023 Player Shield winners.